Well, hello and blessings, saints of the Most High God. I'm Dale. This is my wife, Tomiko, who's laughing with me. And uh, this is Prayer Line. Uh, we have some fun here right before we go on the air and during the breaks. As a matter of fact, we're putting some of these outtakes on the Internet where you can see them. And someday I'll have to tell you where they are. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, this is Prayer Line. If it's Monday evening, we are live. And if you would like to call us and have us to pray with you uh, about what's on your heart, what's on your mind, please give us a call. The number is 739-5686. Uh, 739-5686. Uh, if it's Thursday afternoon or Sunday morning, I know we have a lot of people who watch us on Sunday morning uh, as they're getting ready and preparing to go to their churches on Sunday morning. Uh, you can always drop us an email or send us a little note card to First Baptist Church. Just address it to the prayer line at First Baptist Church Coleman, and it'll get here. And we will join together and we will pray with you. And so thank you for joining with us right now. We're going to jump right in and pray. <sighs> as soon as I catch my breath. So, Father, I thank you for this time together. And, Lord, uh, I guess bless you that you allow us to come together to pray in this way and this is just such a special thing Lord even as uh, uh, sometimes we run in hurried and harried Lord to turn on the TV to try to catch the time together Lord sometimes it's a type of thing that something distracts us Lord sometimes it's a type of thing that it just in the busyness of life uh, that we forget to take just a moment of, of respite before you Lord so I just thank you for this time together Lord I pray that the very things that we will speak the things that we lift up to you will be exactly uh, what are on your heart. Lord, that there will be nothing of the soul, that there will be nothing of the flesh, but it will be your spirit flowing through our spirit back to your throne of grace. Lord, I thank you for gathering us now. You just have your way and do what you want. and We just bless you. Um, baby, why don't you pray for our friend Sheila? Uh, or maybe explain a bit. Sheila's uh, in the, she's still in the hospital, right? Is in the hospital mm -hmm. in Colorado right now. Uh, you want me to tell about yeah, her? Just just, just, yeah, just briefly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have a friend, Sheila, who is a missionary in Colorado, and um, <clears throat> she developed pneumonia a couple months ago and then an infection in her leg, and she couldn't walk because of the infection, and she also couldn't walk because of the pneumonia because she couldn't breathe. And um, to make a long story short, um, they found out um, two or three days ago that... Um, She's got a uh, staph infection, yes. and it had gone into her spine, and they had to do emergency surgery, and they said she could have been paralyzed and possibly have died from it. And um, it's, it's one of these infections that's become resistant to antibiotics. Yeah, very aggressive kind of thing. So um, we just need to lift her up. Yes. So Father, on behalf of Sheila, I just I ask Father for a touch from you. Mm. I pray God that you would drive out that infection from her body, Lord, and that you would um, just totally, totally bring her rapid healing. I pray for the incision site, Lord, that it would not cause her pain any any longer, Lord. And I pray, Father, that you would get her up off of that sick bed and, and about your business once again, Lord. I ask, Father, that the depression that has come against her would be gone in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you would send your children to minister to her, Lord, to minister your love and to minister your peace yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, Father, I, I agree. I just pray that you're healing upon Sheila's body. Yes. That you absolutely eradicate, Lord. Eradicate all that infection. Lord, that you will raise up those uh, good cells, Father, that just eat away infection. And that her body would just bring forth just a rapid, rapid recovery to the praise of the glory of your grace. Mm -hmm. And Lord, for the other things, uh, whenever this kind of stuff happens, Lord, the enemy uh, will... Try to come in and blindside us and try to get us to the back door and that kind of thing. Father, strengthen her. Encourage her within the inner man. Yes. And Lord, uh, may she know uh, like she has never known before your love, Lord. Even as she is uh, there in a the hospital bed and as she's struggling to uh, just cough up the stuff, Lord, and all that kind of thing. May she know that she is not abandoned, that she is loved beyond anything that she could imagine by the Most High God. Lord, I pray that you will take this, which has been a hard and a difficult time, and that you will turn it and that you will use it in such a glorious thing that it will bring praise to you, Lord, glory to you, and that it will bring forth a harvest, an increase of harvest, Lord, into your kingdom. Uh, Lord, we don't understand how you do things like that all the time, but we know that you do, and we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. 
just touch her now. Uh, our number is 739-5686, so give us a call, and as we pray, we sort of keep an eye on the uh, telephone thing right here, so we'll stop and jump in and grab you real quick. Um, let's pray for Nell also, baby. This is a friend of ours that's in the hospital and, and, and just had a really, really hard time here of late. And so, Father, I just thank you for Nell. Uh, Father, I guess every time I think of her, Lord, I just think of how precious she is. That's just the thing that runs through my mind. And, Lord, how, what a blessing she has been in our lives and father for just uh, your power and your presence in her life and father for just the joy of you that has been there so often when i would see her every week and, and i just thank you for that lord uh, father you know what she has gone through you know what she is going through at this very moment lord you know what purpose could come from this we don't know all that father we, we simply don't know but we trust you in it Father, I pray that you will just strengthen her, that you will touch her body. Lord, that you would heal her body. Lord, I also pray that you would heal her family. Yes. Lord, all of us have things where there's uh, uh, fissures and fractions and stresses and things within family. But Lord, there's one right here, and you know the one that I'm thinking of. Father, I pray that you would bring forth a healing in that. And Lord, I pray that you would place upon the heart and minds of those uh, that need to walk in humility and that need to walk in repentance. And Father, just bring forth just a wondrous thing here of healing within the family in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that you would speak to her, Lord, as she, she I know she's in and out of consciousness because, yes. of, because of pain meds, Lord. I pray, God, that you would speak to her heart. I pray that you would bring her out of this sickness, Lord, and that you would restore her health. Yes. And I pray, Father, that you would restore those broken relationships, Lord. I, I thank you, Father, that um, the work that you do, no man can touch. And I ask that you do that mighty work in Nell's life. I pray, Father, that she would um, be healed from the inside out, Lord, and that you would totally uh, get rid of all the pain that she's experiencing and don't let her suffer, Lord, in, yeah. anymore in the name of Jesus. Yes. Um, Father, do uh, minister to her, even when she's there and we're not able to quite communicate with her in a way that we would like to. Um, Father, I, I just thank you for what we've learned from John, you know, our friend John that calls. Mm -hmm. And John was in a coma for 49 days, years and years ago. And uh, the things that he has told us uh, of how he was so aware of so many different things at different levels and different ways. Father, may it be spirit unto spirit, and may your spirit strengthen her. Lord, may she have times of communion with you. Lord, I pray this, the same thing for Sheila. Uh, times of communion with you, unlike anything she's had before. Yes. Let's take this call here. Woo, welcome to Prayer Line. How can we pray for you? Hey. 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 Is this Mary? Hey. Is this Mary Mary? Yes, it is. Hey, sweetie. How can we pray for you tonight? Uh, I want to put Janet on the prayer. Okay. Uh, she has started some new medicine for her seizures, and she's having a little problem getting used to the new medicine. So okay. I need to lift her and Lisa up. Okay. And the advice that you gave me last week is helping. Well, great. I'm glad uh, that, that God gave that advice because I'm clueless as to what it was, but that's all right. <laughs> a lot of that's times, okay. I'll remind him later. Okay, Mary. she'll remind me later. <laughs> a, a lot of times when you pray things and when you say things, particularly if it's a God, you don't remember what it is. I, mm -hmm. I, with me personally, and I think God just sort of protects me from that. So that is wonderful. And so whatever it is, keep on doing it. Okay. <laughs> see you Wednesday night. I will be there. It's good to see you. Thank you so Bye, much. Bye, Tommy. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I sort of remember what she's talking about, but I don't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Uh, go ahead and let's pray for these. Uh, uh, well, for three of them, baby. Yeah. Okay. Well, Father, I just I thank you for the work that you're doing in Mary, Lord. Um, yes. Father, any time that we keep our eyes on you and we follow your ways, Lord, we can't go wrong. And we just grow and grow and grow in our relationship with you. And I thank you, Father, that, that Mary is abiding in you and seeking mm -hmm. your will in, in um, her family situation there, Lord.